while Cher may have sent the world reeling with a brief stint as a platinum blonde back in March, her black hair is here to stay. The icon turned 77 in May, but edging toward being an, an octogenarian in three years isn't factoring into her style and beauty choices as she revealed on Good Morning Britain when asked about her age and what keeps her feeling young. Well, Cher said, quote, honestly, I'm not trying to feel young. I'm not trying to be young. I am who I am. Whatever that means, I'm just going along. I'm just getting along, end quote. She is who she is. What are we all talking about? What do you think about Cher, 77? I, 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 I mean, I, I think that Cher can do anything. With, with, <laughs> she could wear anything. She could put on anything. We would still like it. We would still watch it. We would still love her for it, right? Yeah. Um, but I mean, she's, you know, she's 77 and doesn't look it. She's definitely timeless. And I think it's a combination of a few things. Not only good genes, mm -hmm. uh, but also a good mindset, um, but also a good plastic surgeon, yes, too. Yes, for sure. For sure. And they say the best doctors are the ones that you could tell you haven't had any work done. Yes. You know, so and she looks phenomenal. She does look great. Yeah. And but I think a lot of it has to do with her genes because have you seen her mom? Yes, her mom is beautiful too. And her mom is like in her 90s yeah. or something. And the woman is beautiful. So that's yeah. true. It is a lot to do with genes. But it's that doctor is so important, you know. Um, you know, I've been, I, I finally watched uh, the Supermodels documentary, right? And I yeah. have been looking forward to watching this in a while. It just came out. Um, and it's like Christy Turlington, Linda Evangelista, Naomi Campbell, and who am I missing? And Cindy Crawford. Okay. And all these women are in their fifties now. Right. And yeah. like when I was a little girl, they were the supermodels. They were the end on be all. And now you can see them in their fifties that some have gotten some good work and some <laughs> have not, you know? I mean, it's just that one little, one little extra surgery that like effed it all up, yeah, you know? Yeah. I know. It happens, though. It happens. It happens, though. And a little nip-tuck is fine. You know, a little enhancement is good. Yeah. You know, but I also think she also has a really good, healthy mind. You know, she thinks young. You know, mm -hmm. she's very positive. She stays active. And she only she's... sleeps with young men. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, that has to be part of it, right? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. There's always young, someone younger and prettier. <laughs> <laughs> Every time somebody comes up to Cal to introduce themselves, he goes... There's always someone younger and prettier. Like, he just wants people to know that. Because everyone's be always telling me how they were your best friend and they came before me. Well, guess what, bitch? I'm here now. <laughs> and I'm younger and prettier. And I'm younger and prettier. He is younger and prettier. <laughs> so, did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So, make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen. Right there. So you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.